Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today I'm going to show you how to rotate your AMD Aspire heatsink so that the AMD logo is at the top instead of at the side. This will appease your OCD. Alright, so as you can see, I have not actually mounted my cooler yet, but as you can see, because the mounting screws are basically in a, in a rectangular pattern, you can only put it on two ways. And either way you put it on, it's going to be, well, for my, in my case, it's going to be sideways. So if I put it on that way, it's going to be sideways because this is usually the bottom of the motherboard. Or I could put it on this way, which then it's sideways that way, which doesn't look half bad. But what would be preferred is to have the AMD logo at the top. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first thing we're going to need to do is actually mount it. But yeah, I can't help but notice how many people um, are doing rise and builds and griping about that the heatsink is crooked like this. And today we're going to solve that. Very simply, I was looking at it and I was like, hey, well, these pegs are rectangular, but these are square. So can't we just take these screws out on the fan and turn the fan around? So that's what we're going to do today. So the plastic shroud does get in the way a little bit, but you can hear the screwdriver is actually hitting the plastic shroud a little bit, but it's alright. Alright, so now we've got our Heat sink or our fan. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's actually, as you can see on the bottom here, that's a Cooler Master fan, and there's actually some wires that go over here to the RGB because that's actually doesn't appear to be powered off of the RGB connector. It appears to be powered off of the fan circuit because if you unplug the fan, the LEDs don't work. And also, this white LED will stay on even if you don't have the RGB uh, header plugged in. If you look at the middle of the heat sink here, this is not a normal copper slug heatsink. This is actually a vapor chamber heatsink, so that's really fancy. And, well, I would say that's a very high quality heatsink, especially for a stock heatsink. Oh, there's a bit of a copper in there. Now that we have our fan off, and we can see how awesome that cooler is, actually, let's see if it fits on this way. Hey, look at that. The screws line right up. So let's start these screws in here. Yep, they're going right in. Here you can hopefully kind of see what you have to go through to get this, see how the screw is crooked. If I try to thread it in like that, it'll start going in, but then it'll start binding. So you want to make sure that it's actually threading into the original threads. So you have to turn it backwards until it kind of self-aligns, right like that. Nope, that's not it. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky. There we go, when it pops in like that, then it screws right in real easy, so don't force it in. You want it to screw in real easy. And then you do the other ones. Same way. And you want to do each one just a little bit. You want to get each one started and then tighten them all down. Or else the screws will get stuck up here. Yeah, you have to make sure that the screws aren't getting cross-threaded. That's the only thing. It does make it a little bit difficult. But apart from that, this is a pretty easy fix. Tighten them all down. Not too tight though. Alright, so because aluminum is really soft and these screws are steel obviously, um, when you screw them in and unscrew them, they leave little shavings down here. So you're going to want to blow those off with your air dust or else those might get in a port or something. And by the way, this is the new Micro ATX um, motherboard from MSI. This is the B350M. Um, mortar. Pretty nice little motherboard. I like it a lot. It's got a little bit of red LEDs here around the audio, which is pretty cool. And it's got red LED accents around the corners. Um, and then there's a little bit of... I, I like it a lot. It looks really cool. Being my first mo motherboard I've ever owned. So, Well, I hope this helped you out with your build if you're having the same problem. Um, because I know it would be pretty annoying to have that crooked if you have like a windowed case. And yeah, I don't know. I just It would bug me. But um, anyways. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it and whatnot. Give it a comment below and subscribe. Um, also, if you have a few extra pennies to spare, don't forget to possibly, it, it would be eternally grateful if you would donate a few dollars towards my PayPal, uh, which I'm going to be using to buy new RAM and possibly, if I get enough money, a graphics card because it's not 
it's going to be another month before I actually have enough money to buy RAM, and this is the this is the graphics card that I'm currently going to use because I don't have enough money to buy one. But down the road, I will hopefully buy one. So, if you have a few extra pennies to donate, that would be awesome. I would be eternally grateful to you, and because that would really help up my computer build. Um, but I'm going to be using this for video rendering for my channel. So, but yeah, should help the uh, video production a lot. But um, anyways, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep experimenting.